everyone. It's Angie back again. Today I want to do a pendant. The colors I've chosen are <laughs> it's a blue. What color is that? That's my pearl. Watch me not have a oh here it is. Turquoise, that's what I thought. Wasn't positive though. Turquoise, peacock pearl, and pearl white. Now, first thing, I'm going to put a little bit of a texture on the pearl white because this is going to be my background. I'm gonna wipe that off my my snark towel. Alright, I'm gonna lay this down here. And I'm just gonna flip this over and push. I get better results putting the clay on my ceramic tile and put my texture stamp on top. And these are my homemade ones with uh, polymer clay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just push and roll and then lift up. And there we go. There it is. Now, that's the back. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then we're going to work with these ones. Now with this one, I want to put some silver leaf on it. I'm not being fussy with it. I'm just using these scraps that I have on top here. It's so fly away. <gasps> See, it's hard to do anything with it. So I like getting rid of these if I can. Gently put it on, tap, tap, tap. I'm just stretching this out anyway on my machine afterwards, or I might even just do it by rolling it, depending on my mood, I guess, when I'm done this. My stuff's very sticky, very flyaway, very light. Whoops, see how it sticks to my tile too? That's okay. I just want to get rid of these little pieces. So never throw out your pieces of your metal leaf because you can always use it in different projects. Waste not, want not, right? Don't need anything big now, but flyaway pieces. Try and fill up my little holes. <clears throat> so I'm using the three different colors of clay. And of course you're going to need your craft knife, your roller or your pasta machine. This is probably good enough anyway. Let's give her a try. Put that to the side, clean this up. Like I've said before, don't ever have your windows or fan going because it is that time of year where we like our fans going because it's been quite warm. Today, not so much, but I find the heat bothers me. Yeah, I'm just trying to pick up little pieces, but that's all right. I don't need them. Stuck right to my tile. I'll just use my blade to get that off. And it comes right off. And then I'll wipe my blade off. Alright. Actually, I'm going to put this through my pasta machine because I want these two to be both the same. And I'll put my texture stamp away. I'm just, it's rolled out of my thickest setting, so I'm going to bring it down to a five. Seven's my thickest. Well, I'm gonna move this, I'll be all set. <clears throat> all right. And that's all I want is some little crackles going on. So now I'll roll this one out on the five. Like so. And 
again, this is just a little tiny piece of clay out of a block for each of these. It's probably about half of this. Let me show you here if I open it up here to just to see better. It's probably uh, half of one of these. So if I broke this in half, it would be this half. It's not a very big piece of clay. Even my, um, my even the pearl white, as you can see, it's not big. Just enough for this to fit in it. That's it. So now what we're going to do, and I wish I had, I bought, I thought I bought a measuring thing, but I guess I didn't. <clears throat> but we're gonna trim this up anyway. Get rid of that little bit of foil that's on there. I don't really need a lot of strips, so I'm going to bring that right down to here. As long as it's going to fit across here and down this way. Well, it's pretty close. I'll do the same with this one. Oops, and I'm saving these because I want to use them too after. Pearl, peacock pearl really sticks to my tile. Maybe I, I was playing with resin earlier. No, I got it all off. I can't feel it. For this, I'm just going to lightly mark this with my cutter so I'll know. You can just gently push on it if you can see me. Just enough to give it a mark all the way around so you can see where you're going to be laying your project on. I'll put that there, and I'll put this here, and this right there. I need to get it straight, so I try and do it as even as possible. And I'm just going to cut out some strips. Hopefully they're going to be the same size. I don't really have anything to measure them with. That's pretty close. I don't know what is going on upstairs. Wow. There's all kinds of noise going on. There. And whatever's the closest is what I'll use. So I'm gonna do the same here. But hey, it is homemade, right? Handmade, homemade. Nothing's perfect. As far as that goes, nothing's perfect if it's even a machine making it. It's all about having fun. So, cut my strips. Some are a little bit bigger than the other. I'm just gonna pick the ones that are closest to what I want. I think I'm gonna do four and four. All right, so this is what I'm my initial plan is. To go across this way. <laughs> See if I can do this. Yeah, chuckling to myself is like, mm-hmm, okay, Ange. a space in there like this oh everything sticks to me and then down to that size, this will do. So I'm gonna bring this up further. Bring this up a little further. 
Well, I've got these a little bit longer so that um, I can pinch on them. There. Now, take this one. I'm going to flip over two. I want to put this one here. This over and this one. Try and get up there as snug as a bug as I can. And I'm going to take this, put it in here like so, and I want it as straight as possible. And I'm going to flip this one over, this one over. I'm going to flip these ones back over, just like weaving a basket. It's a little thin. I'm going to take this one and I'll set this here. It looked like there was something on there, but it's just my eyeballs playing with me. these to get as straight as possible. I'll get this off after oh, or now. Okay, and then we'll flip these ones back. Back. And I only have one more of those to put on. So this one, these can stay down. And then we flip these ones back over. Whoops, wrong one. This one. And I'll stick this one in here as close as possible and as straight as possible. There. And then flip this back over. Love these colors and I will be getting that off. Now, let's bring our cutter over. That looks about right. Not really. So there's some silver leaf on that too. Again, to push, there's my acrylic block. I'm going to use this. Oops. Yeah. And I'm going to push on this because I really want to get that nice and even push. Little thingies on my fingers. like so. Now 
There. That's kind of cute. I was thinking of putting something there, but I don't want to now. Sound like a little child. I don't want to now. I think it's plenty right there. But I'd like to put a bit of a back on it. I just find they look better with the back. So I might just take some of these. I had a glass here somewhere. Now what did I do with it? So I had another product. Whoops, on it. Oh. I've collected all my beach glass and brought all that down here today. I'll just set this aside. Like so. And I'll just chop this stuff up. Yeah, because I've got some ideas of other things that I want to do to do with resin. and I love beach projects. I really do. So I've got something going on in my head. I'm going to try it out. My brain's never lonely. I'm just going to take some of these little ends that I've taken off. These pieces are fine to go back in my Peacock Pearl. Let's see, this has some stuff on it too. I'm going to put that there. And these here, they're just kind of a oh, little icky. And I'll just chop, chop, chop. And if I don't like the looks of this, I'm just not going to use it. But I thought I'd try it out for the back of the piece. See what it'll look like. in there too. I'm going to strip these on here like so. Nice way to use up your scrap clay. for the back. And I'm going to roll this out on a number, let me say what size do I want that? I'm going to put it on number five. Well, let's see, my beach glass. As you can see, I don't even, I haven't even been using water on these. I really don't need to. They peel right off, come right off. Just turning it up so I don't miss my texture stamp when I put it on the back. I don't know what I did with that glass. That's me, I tell you, my head. Sure does. 
I'm going to put it on paper anyway when I put it in my um, oven. So we have some stuff in there that I want to bake. And I might even do a tutorial on what I've got in there at a later date. It's all to do with my beach scene, scene that I want to do with resin and polymer clay, all kinds of goodies. Squeaky squeaky, I don't really mean to do that, but I find it does it very easily on these uh, ceramic tiles. I'm probably going to do, well, I might do something with the sides so far. I don't know. I don't look too bad. We'll see. So that's the back. I don't like things sticking to me so much. And the front. I really think that's cute. It went in a little bit. It looked like a heart. You know what I forgot to do, though? I need to do, I think I'm going to do a top bail. So for that, I'm just gonna use my peacock pearl. I'm gonna roll some of that out. Why I keep putting my light. And yep, hit it again. I'm gonna do it thicker. So, and I'm gonna put some of that texture on this one too. Oh, itchy nose. My hair is probably tickling up. <clears throat> there, shove down on that. Like so. How thick do I want this to be? I'll use my old faithful paintbrush. Let's trim this up. I'll just roll that around like so. Texture that part too. I'm just gonna stick this. You know what I was going to do? I was going to put it up here. I think I will. Does that look about center good? are kind of messing me up a little bit. <laughs> there. I think that looks better. What you thinking? <laughs> Yay or nay? I'm not really sure about that right about now. Let me turn it this way and look at it. Yeah, I guess so. And normally I don't do this all in one step. I usually do probably a couple of bags. I don't know why I did it tonight. It just felt right. There. Now I'm going to go bake this because it is Primo I'm using. So I'm going to bake this for one hour. I'm still probably going to do a smear around the sides. Um, yeah, for one hour at 275. And then when it's finished, I'm just going to put one of my, that's already like a pre made necklace black cord through there is all I'm doing with this one for now. Give it a little bit of a light sanding. It's like, well, I can't sand this here at all because it'll come off. Really, there's not too much I can sand on here. 
All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Here it is out of the oven. And I think it looks really well. Very, very nice. And the sides look pretty nice too, so I think I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. Um, the most I would do to this is put some Renaissance wax on it. And that's it. She's done. Um, I do have, if I can find them. Let me see. I haven't decided what kind of a necklace I was going to put on it, but I do have these ones that come together. Or they, when you get them, when you order them, they all come, to, they're all together. As soon as I can get this one to show you. They already come with the lobster clasp. I mean, just put it right down through here. And there it is. All finished. I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks really pretty. And that's the end of this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed. It was really fun making it. I'll probably make some more like this. Different colors. Different shapes. But I really enjoyed making that. It was fun. So, <clears throat> please, feel free to ask any questions. If you're not sure on something, if I can answer it, I most certainly can. If I'm not sure of it myself, I will definitely do the research to find out. Um, please subscribe, like, make comments. I really appreciate it. Like I say, I really enjoy interacting with everyone. And take care of yourselves until next time. See ya.